Diamond and News Jindal channel, don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Everybody and welcome to MD's Gin Mill Channel Virtual Happy Hour. You guys, we are almost to St. Patrick's Day, just a few short days. I got my hat, but this thing is so big that, like, I don't even know what I can do with it. So I take it off for just a second. And welcome, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Hey, Denise, how you doing? You guys, I have a special guest for you today. We're going to get right into it because he is waiting and it's late. So before we get there, you know, St. Patrick's Day is this Friday. It's one of the biggest celebrations all around anywhere. That's why I'm wearing my fancy shirt, which I can barely breathe in. But, you know, that's okay. So I wanted to talk about Guinness because Guinness is, you just it's just like, yin and yang to St. Patrick's Day, at least here in the States. So we're going to get a firsthand view of that. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you guys about something I found out about. We talked about this on the show months ago, Guinness 0, 0.0. It's non-alcoholic Guinness. And, you know, all you youngsters out there are going for the NA stuff. So we got to, we got to all kind of get in with it. But this year, Guinness 0.0 is offering 50,000 free pints. They're giving away over the weekend. I'm pretty sure it's across the pond because I haven't heard about it here in the States. But they even have a Snapchat filter. That's right. I know you people are on Snapchat. They have a filter that lets the frothiness on top of the Guinness talk. So I'm going to show you a, a quick little video Nope, I'm not showing you a quick little video. We're going right in. We're going right in. And okay, so without further ado, I want to bring in to our studio here from across the pond, one of the original Irish people I've ever met in my life, Mr. Liam Walsh. How's it going? Hey, Liam, long time no see. Really long time. Oh my God. Okay, so first of all, where are you? What are you doing? What time is it? uh it is well it is late at night i am in manchester in england at present which is where i live these days um uh, still in the bar business running a big bar hotel gastro pub are you uh, it's called, the name? yeah it's called the bowling green hotel bowling green hotel and that's in manchester yep right okay. right down the street from old trafford from uh Nice. Man United, Man United ground. That's my favorite show is Frasier, and that's where their uh, home health care worker was from, is Manchester. Oh, that's yeah, that's right. Yeah, I used to love Frasier, yeah. <laughs> love it. So, okay. Oh, my God, we have a viewer that says her mom was born in Manchester. Oh, so whereabouts? Whereabouts, Denise, was your mom born in Manchester? We'll give her a second to respond. So, thank you again so much. I know this was last minute, and... You know, I'm eccentric, right? <laughs> now, should we all know that? <laughs> uh, she says, moved to Ireland after the war. Oh, wow. So that was that was a little while ago then. <laughs> that was a, probably before we were around, huh? Yep. <laughs> so, okay. You've heard about this Guinness 0, 0.0. I mean, I've only heard about it. I haven't seen it. You've actually served it, right? Yeah, yeah. We sell it. We sell it in my pub. And we actually sell... A lot of it like how much is a lot um i would say we go through well for a for a non-alcoholic drink we go through probably about maybe three four cases of it a week oh my god is it a bottle form or a can no it's form? a can it's a can, can. The, the widget thing in the jig yeah okay yeah so... like it's, it's weird. so it, it pours like it pours like a normal kind of guinness and it looks like a normal kind of guinness it just doesn't really have the same body. There's like, for me, there's a little bit of a strange aftertaste to it. But, it, you know, it's like, I don't know if um, Heineken Zero has, has 
taken off over there yet. Yes. But huge. See, well, that is about to come onto actual draft soon. So we sell bucket loads of that too, and um, the Italian beer, Bira Moretti. We sell. I we sell a lot. Oh, right. Well, that's that is the biggest selling lager in the UK and Europe, I think, at the minute. Wow. It's massive, massive. So, but they've they've tapped into the zero market now as well. But the, the Guinness, we, yeah, we sell a lot of it. Man, that's crazy. Um, our viewer, Denise, says her mom was born in 1938. Yeah, that was slightly before our time. <laughs> slightly. Although it doesn't feel it sometimes. It doesn't feel it. No, no, not at all. So, okay, I found out that, did you hear about them giving away 50,000 free pints? No, I didn't. Okay. Now, are you familiar with this bar? I think, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's called O'Donoghue's in Dublin. Yeah, no, O'Donoghue's, yeah. Do you know that guy? Uh, I can't see it at the minute. Okay, so you can't see it. Okay, and I wasn't sure if you could see it. But in the beginning for the O for O'Donoghue's, they got the 0, 0.0 on their sign for this weekend. All right. Well, then, probably what they're doing is they're probably going to just do it in Ireland. I would, I would assume. Uh, we have a viewer, Steve Powell. Hey, Steve, liking your sparkly. It's for St. Patrick's Day. Why not? Right? Like I said, I can't breathe, but that's okay. But um, so yeah, they've got this Snapchat filter where the frothiness on top of the pint will sing in your own voice. So if you guys. <laughs> want to go on your Snapchat and put this all together, you can have the coolest TikTok videos. I guess it's gone viral all over TikTok is this Heineken, or zero, I'm sorry, I was getting Heineken in my head, Guinness <laughs> 0. 0.0. We still can't get that video up? Oh, we can. Let's play this video because it's really cool. Check it out, Liam. All right. sure we have volume on this we did you guys do <laughs> okay so i'm not sure if you can see it but they had a whole bunch of pints with the frothiness singing like the ghost you know and scream <laughs> yeah. And it said, make it a St. Patrick's Day to remember. Ah, nice, nice. I see Do what they did there. A lot of St. Patrick's Days? I don't, yeah. but that's okay. <laughs> so now you're in London, or well, Manchester, England mm -hmm. right now, and you look cold. You've got a hoodie on. Yeah, well, it's. Yeah, it's minus one at the moment. Oh, my, well, that is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? Celsius, Celsius, yeah. Ooh, ah. And it's Ugh. been pissing rain all day too. So, Ugh. and and the last few days we've had snow. Does it snow a lot there? I mean, it does around you know December, January, but it's not supposed to in March. No, no, no. All right. Well, that is awesome. And you know what? I, I just. Because one of my producers didn't believe me. I got I to gotta get a little bit of, because, you know, the eccentric part of me, right? Of course. Go on. Didn't you grow up right near Bono? Yeah, actually. He went, he went to school literally just like a less than a five-minute walk from my school. I thought so. And didn't you once show me a picture of he was in like this building right near where you grew up? Yeah, yeah, like they, they basically they formed in a school down named Mount Temple, and Mount Temple in Artane in Dublin is just around the corner from Clontarf, which is where I went to school. So like their their school li literally like less than five minute walk. I knew it. Bono is like you know I love Bono. He's like God to me. So <laughs> they're going on tour. They're going to be in Vegas this September. They're doing a residency. Yeah, yeah. The 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 bloke who owns. My hotel is planning on going over in November if when it's when it's officially announced. But I know Larry Mullen isn't playing. But uh, yeah, so he's planning on going over for the the residency to see them. I can't wait! I'm so excited. I actually belong to the YouTube fan club, so I'm got. First well, I don't know how much you love Vegas too. <laughs> and I love Vegas. Yes. 
Oh, they're telling me you need to come back here and visit us. Do you know what? That is actually on the cards. I, really? I am. I am. Yeah, yeah. I'm. Well, I'm not 100 percent sure exactly when, but it'll hopefully be within the next year or so. Because I, I now have my daughter who I want to uh, kind of show where her mother grew up. So we need to to get her over there and we'll we'll drop by and say hi. For those of you guys who do not know, you know, I met Liam here in Port St. Lucie, Florida. He managed restaurants all around town. He was, I think he taught me how to pour my first Guinness properly, which I have extended to all of my staff, because you wouldn't believe how many people do not know how to pour a proper Guinness. Oh. Well, you got pretty good at it in the end, in fairness. Well, you drank a lot of it, so I did get good at <laughs> I it. I did. I did. Me, I'm <laughs> Brett. <laughs> Oh, our viewer Denise says she would love to meet you. <laughs> well, you never know. Whenever I get back over that way. Awesome. Ah, uh, yes. If you, I've been told, if you're in Vegas, you need to call us because we'll be there too. So. Oh yeah, Defo. Well, thank you so much. I don't mean to keep you up late. I know it's very, very late where you are, and I appreciate this last minute pop in. Thank you so no much, worries. you guys. Say goodbye to Mr. Liam Walsh in Manchester, England. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you very much. No worries. See ya. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye. You guys, that was so awesome. I literally just sent a message to him like an hour ago, and he was like, hell yeah, I'm in for you. Absolutely. So thank you to Mr. Liam Walsh in Manchester. Oh, I'm knocking things over back here. So, you guys, okay, in in the uh, in the um, this, the seasons here, in the seasons, St. Patrick's Day, I came up with this drink just the other day at my bar, Bogies and Stogies, which our friend Liam Walsh is very, very fond of, and that's where I met him, is called an Irish Margarita, and I want to make it for you guys because it was so good. I did one of my regulars, one of the most miserable regulars, every morning. Oh, man, Teddy, we love you, Teddy, but you're miserable. He tried it and he loved it. He said two thumbs up. So we're gonna make that drink for you right now. And I also wanted to just uh, give a shout out to Irish Mafia in um, Southern Tier, New York. I think, what's the actual name of their city? Do we recall? It's in the Finger Lake region of New York. We visited them last year and they were so cordial. They had some great ciders and great beers. Irish Mafia, you guys, .com, check them out. So. All right, I have already salted my glass. And I've always told you guys that I love to use different glasses. So I'm going to use a wine glass because I love wine. So I salted my wine glass with some lime and some salt. And in your tin, you're just going to ice it up. See, the funniest thing is my bar here is a little makeshift, so my ice sticks together. Kind of give, it a little, give it a little something, something here, okay? So going to take your Irish whiskey, any Irish whiskey, we're going to go with Jameson because everybody loves Jameson. Going to give about two ounces of Jameson in there. Maybe a little more because why not, right? And then you're going to use either sour mix or what I have gotten is some Centronage. It's very hard to see. It's a weird label, but this is a top shelf excellent orange liqueur. So, you know, similar to a triple sec, which isn't top shelf, or a Quattro, which is top shelf. And you're just gonna give yourself a little bit less, so about an ounce and a half of this. That's gonna sweeten it up and make it delicious, okay? Then, you want your sour mix in your lime. Well, instead of all that, I thought, why not show you guys our filthy margarita mix Filthy.com, you guys, because they are awesome. It's all in one pack right here. Really easy, especially so easy my mom could make it. Hi, Mom. I know you're watching because it's snowing like hell in Rochester, New York, and you've got nothing else to do. So just dump some of that in there. It's interesting. These little packs, you can take them to the beach. Not today because, like, a microburst just came through Port St. Lucie here and even ripped off a panel of my screen enclosure. So if anybody knows a screen guy, send me a message. I need it. 
Okay, so like I said before, we're going to shake it away from you, but first we're going to ice up our glass. And I told you this is not a wet bar where I'm at, unfortunately. Maybe someday, but not right now. So we've got to kind of do things a little bit half-assed. That's okay. All right. So we've got our iced up salted glass. Shake up. Your Irish margarita. Aren't you getting excited for St. Patrick's Day? Oh, my God. I am. I'm actually working. The day shift. I'm really, really excited. So... If anybody's local, I'm working at Bogies and Stogies all day, two for one half hour. Okay, so got it in here. Gonna strain it over your fresh ice. Why? Because that's what you do these days, you know. All right, give it a little lime garnish, like so. Bam. Gotta grab ourselves one of these fade eco straws made in Jacksonville, Florida. Good for the environment. They don't hurt anything. Turtles and such. And we'll give it a sip. Oh my God. Honestly, you guys, if you've been following along, it's basically a Irish whiskey sour with lime and some orange liqueur. It's absolutely delicious. And I'm telling you, if you go out this weekend and you want to have something and feel a little Irish, you don't have to have the Guinness. You don't have to have a Jameson. You don't have to have any of that. I order Irish margarita. Just tell them you want Irish whiskey, sour mix, a little lime, and some either triple sec, Cointreau, or if they happen to have the citronage, which is fantastic. That's how you order it. It's really, really good. So we'll set that aside. And you guys, I'm telling you, do you know what today is? Today marks 35 years till or from the movie Cocktail. Okay, with Tom Cruise, when they debuted Cocktails 35 years ago today, and thank God they did because, you know what, that movie just, it was the best. I have cocktails and dreams, baby, cocktails and dreams. But, okay, let's, oh, it just, it, it's really good, Denise. So let me show you something else I got right here. This is Bailey's, and we always love Bailey's. They came out with this vanilla mint shake. And, you know, every Monday I probably, like, get sick to my stomach tasting all this stuff, but you've got to try this. It's limited edition. Pick it up at your store. It's 750 milliliters, so it's kind of small. You could give it a little chill. It's green. Okay, see, it's green. I'm just taking a nip because it's so good and so sweet. Mmm. Oh my God. It tastes like a melted down Girl Scout cookie. It's so freaking good. I can't even tell you guys. So I'm just trying to show you some amazing things that are out right now. And you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys miss the baby Guinness shot. Everybody talks about the baby get a shot. Remember Patron XO? Well, they don't make it anymore. But if you remember about a year ago, I showed you guys this Cantera Negra. And this is a cafe tequila. It's hard to see the glare here, you know. Okay, they still make it. You can find this at a liquor store. A friend of mine just contacted me the other day and said he found it. And you can make an amazing baby Guinness with this. It tastes excellent. So let's see if I still got it, you guys. I got some Carolyn's Irish liqueur right here. Woo! That could have been damaging, let me tell you. You're going to put your cafe in first. And I'm just going to do this free-handed. Let's see how good I can be. All right. So you go three quarters with your cafe tequila. And then you're going to go one quarter with your Irish liqueur. Just dribble it down the side. Come on, let's see how I still got it. I think I still got it. Look at that. No, maybe not. It's going gonna, it's gonna to go up. Oh, pause off. Come on in. You can try it. We got a hand coming in already. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, baby Guinness is still back in the house, you guys. Ask for it at your local place. You know, it, it's great. I'm going to have another sip of this margarita. But also, you know, mm, good response. So they're talking about, no, no more. No more for you guys. So you know Sunny D, that cheap imitation like orange stuff? Well, I guess it's not so bad because they've got themselves a Sunny D vodka seltzer now. Look at this. Come on, people. Really? This is craziness. How many more vodka seltzers can there be? 4.5% ABV, zero sugar. It's available at Walmart right now. So go get yourself your Sunny D vodka seltzer. I don't even know. I, 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 I just don't know. So I was looking online and 45 million people admit to drunk shopping. How many of you guys have ever drunk shopped? Like, you know, you're having a drink and you're on your computer, amazon.com or whatever, and you bought something. Okay, so 45 million people admit to drunk shopping. The most popular things they buy, alcohol, so they want more alcohol, gambling and cigarettes. I can't believe people still smoke cigarettes, but they do, I guess. Whatever. You know, I have two smoking bars and they're very busy. So, yeah, they do smoke. But women, the number one thing women buy is clothing. I'm guilty. I've had some wine and I'm like, oh, look at this new Amazon dress. Click, 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 click. They show up. I got five different ones. I don't know. What was I thinking? Also, men like to buy, the number one thing men want to buy while they're drunk shopping is food. That's so weird. But, hey, what are you going to do? Also, 35 years ago, Jaws came out. Jaws. The movie. Anyways, guys, that's it for us today. And I'm so glad you joined us. And can't breathe anymore so i have to go get out of this top but i want to thank our sponsors of course exchange of america inkhead graphics kg bro kg pro renovations booze vantage because you're gonna need that this weekend and the gin mill in fort pierce florida and bogies and stogies in port st lucie florida and you guys thank you so much and thank you to mr liam walsh the original irishman at First Irishman I've ever met in my life over in Manchester, England. Thank you, you guys. Thank you for joining us. Have a great week and happy St. Patrick's Day. Salante.